What's up everybody and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to tell you how to set up an external editor in raw therapy. Okay, so we are here in raw therapy and as you can see I have a couple of images open and what we're doing is we're connecting an external editor and that can be found right down here. This button is the external editor button and if I hit this little drop down carrot you can see that I have GIMP connected or I can choose a different external editor if I wanted to use Photoshop or something else without going into the settings. But since I have GIMP selected, I'm just going to click open and you can see that raw therapy is working and three, two, one. And there you go. Now I'm in GIMP with the image that I edited and you can even see that the crop that I had was applied to the image that gets opened up. And so this is really, really helpful because a lot of times you want to edit some things that raw therapy can't do in another photo editor. So I'm gonna close out of this. You know, just like hitting the external editor button, you can also hit the subscribe button to get more content. And I'm gonna come down here to my preferences, open that up and under the general tab, I'll scroll down to the bottom and you can see where it says external editor. I have this, It's the name is GIMP and then it shows the file path to the exe executable file. I'm gonna just go ahead and delete that for this. I'm gonna click OK and restart raw therapy. Okay, now with raw therapy restarted, if I open my preferences back up, you can see there's nothing here. I can open this image back up and I click open and instead it pops up with the select application. So now that we understand what we're doing, let's go ahead and connect the external editor. So I'm gonna to come to my preferences here and like we did before, scroll down. Under this external editor, I'm gonna hit the plus button and it pulls up and adds a new line into this table. And now I'm going to go to change executable. And you can see that I have this folder right here, this recycle bin folder, that wouldn't normally be viewable. And that's important because GIMP actually resides within a hidden folder on your computer. It doesn't put itself in your program files. So to see those hidden folders, you right click and then go to show hidden folders. So if I untick this, you can see all of these folders that were hidden are now hidden again. So right click again, open up, show hidden folders. So we go to users, username, app data, local, and then under programs, then I can go to GIMP2 and bin, and then in this bin folder, we scroll and we find the GIMP 2.10.exe. Click open. And now you can see that the command has the file and folder structure that we need. The last thing we need to do is click this name. If you just click in here, you can rename this. So I'm going to delete that and type in GIMP. Okay. And now I click OK. Now the beauty of this is let's say that you want to use GIMP for one thing, you want to use Photoshop for another, you just connect Photoshop and you're good to go. So now that I've connected that up, let's go ahead and select GIMP instead of other from our little drop down menu. And I'll click open. And now you can see that GIMP is open with the image just like it was before. And there you have it. That's how you connect any external editor to raw therapy.